Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So this is probably, probably the last time I'm trying this and probably one of the last gamblings throughout this Betrayal League. We are soon at the end, you know, so yeah, uh, today we are going to try the crap in the box, uh, check in the box again. Uh, today we are going to unbox 200 stacks of uh, Jack in the box. Uh, this is the third, no, the fourth time I'm doing this. The first one was, I think, 60, then it was 100, then it was 150, and now we're going for the 200. And sadly, the first three videos haven't yielded any profit. Sorry if you haven't seen that one, and that's a spoiler, but yeah, you know, shit happens. So, today, so that means we have a, a hat trick in loss in the Jack in the Box. So, today, hopefully, we can change that and, yeah, break this losing streak. So... For the write downs, we have 200 checks, uh, check in the box cards by Pat Pew Pew. Yeah, as always, or at least <laughs> very often this uh, this league. So they go for a chaos each. So one set is four chaos. The 200 sets is probably like 800 chaos, like mass kills. Holy shit. And today's exalt exchange ratio is 1 to 159. That means it's about a five exalt gamble. So. Basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox those. Uh, we're gonna throw the results into the quad tab here. And yeah, in the end, we're just gonna write down every worthy item over here. And then we need to check, or at least to get more than 800 Chaos Orbs. So yeah, I think in the other videos, there is actually like 80 to 90% loss. So that means we should be able, like my prediction is we get about, yeah. 100 no 225 c's my prediction what we will get out of that gamble so let's let's le uh, let's leave the number here and let's see later on so um what does this jack-in-the-box actually do it uh, it gives you a unique item including those that are league restricted so you can get every single unique item that's possible to drop or at least was able to drop like i think hat hunters as well since league restricted means um Items that can only be obtained through, uh, throughout the league. So Nemesis League was Headhunter. So after that, you can only get Headhunter through uh, Nemesis mods on Sana and so on. So yeah, we're going to see. I think we're just going to take the first probably like 12, like 20. And we're going to start right away. So I'm probably not going to uh, put stuff in that is like worthless or at least should be more than a chaos, to be honest. I'm probably going to skip the majority. Like this one is so is it's one chaos. Like should we put them in or not? So I don't know. Like maybe we're gonna add some stuff at the end. Okay, here we have some thunder fist that uh, could be a vile later on. Let, let's just price them for one chaos. Put them to the side. A quill range shouldn't be any kind of value anymore. Let's say, although it's it's a superior quill rain. I mean, put them in for one chaos or not? They, they never gonna sell for one chaos because who needs that shit? To be honest. Uh, that's probably another chaos for the ring value for the, um, what's it called? The law weave. The rest is like nothing. What about this one? A hallowed ground. That's probably three chaos. So let's, so that's one, two, three, four, plus three is actually seven. So let's make this quick, write seven in here and keep on going with the next one. Smelligoros should be nothing. Dusk toe is nothing. Edge of Madness is definitely nothing, so let's just throw them all into here, because whatever we get, um, Pat is going to get it, because this is how it works, right? When people start to uh, give me a gamble to do, they will just get the outcome of, uh, yeah, the gamble itself. So I'm not I'm not here to, to make any kind of profit here uh, from anybody. So the Golden Rule, maybe a little bit, yeah, two Chaos, maybe. Snake Bites, then we have Lion Eyes Paws. Another Olmax and Giant's Pain, uh, Bain. So that was like two Chaos plus this one is maybe like three Chaos. We're going to add on top of that. So we made the first 20 unboxes and we made 10 Chaos Orbs. That's not good. So let's go with the next row, which is 12 uh, more of these Jack in the Box cards. We have three Step Assaults. Then we have a Dread Arc. It's useless. The Twilight Temple is a little bit... Uh, Maelstrom of Chaos could be... I think the Twilight Temple is actually a couple of Chaos. Um, this is 84% worthless. Rigwald is worthless. Then we have this shit. Oh, a Tabula. That needs to be vault. I'm sorry. I, I just need to. That's, I mean, we're gonna calculate it in as it just a regular drop, right? 
Are we still gonna vile them? Uh, and this one. Can we manage to do some inventory Tetris? Yes, we can. Great. So, uh, useless. This needs a vile orb, but probably one chaos maybe, if even. Yeah, so one chaos, then we have another... One chaos makes it two chaos. Here we have 27 chaos, 25, so makes 27 in total. So 27, this needs a vial. 27 plus the tabula is like 20 or so. 23 makes it a total of 50 chaos orbs. So those 12 turn ins weren't actually that bad, but you know, we're gonna vile those later on. So, uh, what about the repentance? I don't think so. Probably a chaos. The rest is like, what about these rolls here? They are bad. So, yeah, let's skip it. So, next row and next fancy items to get, which is a shit. Oh, look at this. More shit. That's crap. That's bad. That's bad. Another Almax, that's like the third Almax we get. Princess could be a little bit. Blood Grip, then we have reverber Reverberation Rod and whatever. So, if we're gonna put this in here, I think Almax was a Chaos. I'm price checking for the third time. So, that's a Chaos, is two Chaos. Then maybe the Princess goes for... No, that's nothing. Okay, so another two Chaos on top of these here. So, we have 62. And we're gonna get in the last row of these 56 um, Jack in the Box cards. So here we go, this is nothing. That is bad. Obliteration is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Come on. Another reverberation rod. Hey, where is my Olmec Sanctum? Hey, can you give me an Olmec Sanctum? Okay, so this could be something, the red cage. Uh, okay, one chaos. That's holy shit. Okay, that's bad. So one chaos, uh, dark ray. I don't think so. One fusing. The rest is pretty much like angry loop. One chaos, and this one should be nothing. So basically, that's another two chaos on top of that. So that was actually super bad. Holy shit. But we still have like we have like the the first quarter we we've done now, and we made sixty four chaos. So if we're gonna keep this one. Uh, we are basically almost at this point what I assume it to be if we're gonna keep on going with that shit holy holy moly so next 12 cards And we start off with shit and more shit holy shit. What is this crap? That's bad That's bad Another pair of Sunder fists That was two chaos so maybe three chaos on, on that point and a barracks pass. I think the pass ring is just the, the the useless one, right? Yeah. So maybe one chaos, two chaos, three, four chaos on that turn in. That was like super bad as well. Uh, yeah. So golden rule, we could actually let's just keep all those items that I think we could value. Uh, we could val later on for more profit. We can place over here. Um, and yeah. Thunder Fists. I have like a super sick pair of Thunder Fists with plus one gems and um, what's the other thing? Plus one Frenzy, I think. Somewhere? Somewhere? Here, Double Corruptus. Level of Socket of Gems and Max Frenzy Charges. It's like super sick. Okay, so uh, we are back in this weird tab here and get the next 12 cards. And hopefully we... We find, I like I cannot really remember if I have ever ever gotten anything useful out of these cards. I think the most valuable one was I think something like 50 chaos, 60 chaos, and that you have to think in in a total of about with those now probably more than 500 stacks that I unboxed of those already. I don't know why, but it seems like this card is just full of shit. Maybe they changed something, maybe they're just trolling me, but in the end you just get any kind of random crap. I mean, there are so many good uniques that you can have that are valuable, but yeah. Probably on somebody else's RNG, not on mine, which is pretty common. So, and this was actually not even a chaos, right? So we could Val the Karui Ward maybe. Hey, that's actually a perfect one. So we could Val that one as well. So let's move this one over here. The rest is like one chaos and I think, yeah, 
that was probably I don't I don't know if this one is actually worth a little bit if it's rolled perfect for leveling. Yeah, maybe one chaos. So we counted in two chaos anyways. I think yeah. We're just gonna keep on going. And hope for something good. Come on. Can't be so hard. I mean That's 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 useless. That's useless. That's shit. Another two uh, one chaos for a ring. Perfect. Uh well, that's a, that's a pretty decent bad roll. <laughs> Can it get any worse? So we have like one chaos on the cards right now. Is this the one chaos turn in? Oh, saved, saved. We actually made three chaos in this turn in. How can this be so bad? I mean, holy shit. If this continues like that, I, I can sh guarantee you no profit on these cards. Unless we get something valuable, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm a little bit more, uh, you know, I get older, you know, and the older I get, the more realistic I get. So I just have to say that all these gambles probably never will work out. <laughs> I mean, not that I knew before, but in the end, you know. So uh, Soul Mantle is probably a chaos, if even. I think the, the, the market is over flood with those ones. So yeah, that, that's probably the first zero chaos one. I mean, we have two more cards. Maybe maybe this is even one chaos, the spring leaf, but no, not even. So that was a beautiful zero chaos turn in. Wow. We're getting better. We're actually getting better at this instead of worse. Great old one's ward. What is that? I've literally never seen that one before. Yeah, it's worthless. Okay, but still it looks cool. So then we have this shit and that shit and this shit and more curtain call. Hey, did they steal this one from League of Legends? That looks like Jin. Curtain call isn't isn't curtain call Jin's ultimate? Uh, that's crap. That's shit. Uh, another unique map and another unique map. That's good. So this one is a couple chaos, as far as I know. That's like twelve chaos. Then we have 3 chaos, makes it 15, plus 3, makes it 18. Hey, that wasn't, that, that was not too bad at all. So let's move them over. And grab the next line of cards. Shit. Shit. Hey, wait, this is, okay, this is bad. But probably, I think, like, 2 chaos for Gold Dream, 1 chaos. So the ring, probably one chaos, makes it two chaos. Oh, a Devotos. 15, 14. So it's 16 in total. That's crap, 16 chaos. Can we, can we get some more value, please? Not with this one, no, not with that. Hey, wait a second, this one is probably something. Ah, but not with those rolls. Yeah, one chaos, okay. So with one, two, plus, it's like 17 chaos in total, right? 17. Holy shit, this is actually super bad. So okay, let, let's throw some stuff into here. And yeah, open the next line. I know this video is going to be a little bit longer, but you know, you, you, you cannot just like instantly unbox everything. That's crap, that's shit, that's bad. That's like the most common term. What is this? Crown of the Pale King. Never seen that one before. One fusing. Okay, still worthless. But hey, this is this is what you do, right? You have like three and a half thousand hours played in Path of Exile. There is still a lot of items that you probably never seen before because it's any kind of unique or legacy item where you haven't played yet, so that's probably nothing, 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 nothing. And this one is probably a little bit... Yeah, one chaos. Hey, great. Now we have the one chaos, we have the two chaos run, the three chaos, the four chaos, holy shit. Okay, so we have... How many do we have left? Uh, 24, 48 is 60 cards left. So, uh, we are actually getting close to my prediction right now. <laughs> holy shit, this is so bad. It's, that's definitely, they should rename this one to crap in the box. 
because this is the max what you can do. Uh, here we have pretty low rolled Dune. I don't know if they were something. Yeah, one chaos, great. One of those one chaos cards or one chaos turn ins that will never sell. Not even in standard, not even, I don't know. You actually, if you want to give this to somebody, you know, you gotta you be like, hey, you can take my Dune's uh, QBRE or what is named, but take five chaos so, so you, I don't waste my uh, stash slots for that, right? So, um, yeah, shit, we need more space. Results, check in the box, throw them into here. I think there was like one chaos for the, the weird one, right? Can we, do we get some more inventory Tetris over here? If we place this one here, this here, this here. Ah, perfect. Okay, so uh, let's remove this one and another shit. <laughs> this is this is by far the worst thing I've ever done. Holy shit! So there was not even one. Was it like one chaos? I think uh, the the one weird item was one chaos. We have to count every single every single alchemy soon because this is not even close to be something. That's probably something to val. That's bad. This is something we can val as well. I think that's the frost. Frostbolt one, yeah, for this cast on crit, whatever. Death and taxes, that's bad. Another one of these. Here is bite, that's bad. Another waste of inventory. Oh, come on. Uh, put this over here, take this over here, and hopefully not more than four slots. Okay, that works. So, what about this one here? A healthy mind with 16%. That's a super low roll, so... Basically, the Belt of the Deceiver is something we can Val later on. Um, this is something we can Val, and the rest... Oh, wait, the Death and Texas, I think, is one Chaos, right? Two Chaos, okay. So let's let's just put in here two Chaos. What about this one, Belt of the Deceiver? Nothing. Frozen Trail? Yeah, one Chaos. Okay, so makes it three. Wow, we are counting in every single freaking piece. So let's move this one over so we have this line free so I don't forget about valing those and yeah up to the last uh, 36 cards that's bad that's shit that's not gonna help nope not really nope 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 I don't even need to check this anymore can we just can we just tune in like one chaos for each freaking item uh, that's bad uh, we have like one chaos for this ring maybe and yeah, one chaos maybe for the life sprig. Yeah. Two chaos. Hey, we don't even gonna hit the prediction. We have like 24 more cards, right? So what do we need to get to really make profit out of those? But you, you still have to think of how many of these cards that I have unboxed in total and... And never got anything good out of it. Hey, that, that's good. I'm using that one. But it's still not worth anything. I just get this small awkward moment when I see a worm smolt. Okay, a Hall of Grandmasters is like 2-3 chaos. Uh, that's crap. This is something, Lightning Coil, and yeah, whatever. So, Lightning Coil should go for nothing. Uh, hemophilia Gloves? 3 chaos, hey, that's good. Or at least 2 chaos plus 4 is like 6 chaos. Oh, wait, life sprig. Seven chaos. I'm sorry. I almost f screwed this one up. So, the last couple of cards. The last couple of cards. And yeah, what do we have to get to actually even get close to my prediction? Yeah, a Solaris Lorica will not help. This is bad. This is shit. Oh, come on. Hey, a poor choice. That's a couple chaos. And the last two, and it's going to be just full of shit. Okay, Coward's Trial is one chaos. Combat focus, I don't know if this is... Uh, cannot choose fire? I'm, I'm not sure. Let's search this one. I think like, yeah, one chaos, one chaos is two chaos. Then we have poor choice. Seven chaos, this is useless. So seven chaos plus one chaos. 8 chaos. Holy shit. We actually... <laughs> we actually made... Yeah. Surprise, surprise. We made 670 chaos. 
Loss. Loss. <laughs> Not so poker. <laughs> what is this? Please buff. Okay, so we, we can just hope that in 3.6, uh, GGG is going to buff these cards because this is actually... Wow. Just, just... Just bad, okay. So, let's see what we can vial out of uh, those here. So, uh, we got to get Tabula Rasa to 20%. So, let's... Oh, wait. We need the other ones to be 20% too. So, it, it looks better, you know. So, they have 20% when they reap. So, first one. Minions deal more damage. For Molten Strike, not valuable. Tabula, nothing happened. Golden Rule, increased damage. That self -flagell. that could be worth something. Then we have two level socket war cry gems, a rip. Uh, nothing happened. Cannot curse with silence. And cold damage leech this life. So maybe the increased damage in the golden rule could be something. But I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe 20 chaos. And silence on this one, probably not either. So 10 chaos. So yeah, maybe, maybe with the valing we saved up 20 chaos. Maybe. But then it's still 650 loss, so that's the fourth time I've did that. It's always like a super massive loss. This is definitely not worth it. I cannot approve this gambling, so yeah. Lesson learned again. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.